These Pokeball tins are so cool, but what packs are we going to get? Now real quick, we're going to look at the bottom and it says D23. Now let's get to opening. The reason we wanted to look at the bottom is to identify this ball for later on when we buy it again. Now we're going to give this a nice satisfying little... Oh, so satisfying. And look at that. Coin on the bottom looks to be an... An Eevee. Cool. But other than that, all Sword and Shield era packs. Look at this lineup here. Those are what we hope to get from each pack. Let the ripping commence. We're going to start off with the odd man out, Silver Tempest. We're still on our hunt for a master set. We are lacking the Rainbow Vulpix. I mean, we're still missing that Alt Art Unknown and the Alt Art Lugia, but Babe really wants that Rainbow Vulpix V-Star. Now, I do like the artwork from Scarlet and Violet, but the artwork from Sword and Shield hits different the same way XY hits different. Halfway through the pack, can we get first pack magic? No trainer gallery. Ooh, no first pack magic. We'll try again with pack number two. Lost Origins is up, and honestly, I love this set. This set has the alt art Giratina, Aerodactyl, Rotom, and Berserker. I'm a fan of all of those alt arts, and sadly, I have pulled none of it. She has pulled none of it. Hopefully one of them's in this pack. And we're just about nearing the end. And no trainer gallery and no hit. At this point in time, you're probably thinking we got skunked and I don't blame you because we only have one more pack to go. So this, this whole tin is literally coming down to whether we get a hit on this last pack, whatever hit it is. I just hope it's a good one. And also, maybe if you hit that like button and consider subscribing, we can have last pack magic. Do your boy a solid. Last pack. For this last pack, I'm invoking the power of my favorite energy. The lightning energy. Don't let your boy down. 